<laughs> this is the strangest thing. Uh, I'm guessing this is it. There we go. What's it? Just crap again. So you're not hungry? Oh, I'm sleeping. No, I don't, don't think I want to sleep. I want to... Wait. Oh. Thank you, Santa. Oh, you've got some coal. It's adorable. Oh, it's the minute spider eye. Reverend by Ryan. Ryan isn't the guy who did this one, is he? No, it's Kevin. Okay, Ryan. <clears throat> he keeps a cauldron in the back of the room of his house. He says that he uses it to make soup for the community. But acts weird if anyone goes near it. I've seen the strangers go into the Reverend's house, and I've found fermented spider eyes outside. He thi he th I think... <sighs> I'm just... My, I, don't, I, don't, I don't even know. I think the strangers throw fermented spider eyes into the cauldrons as part of the ritual. Well, let's take them then, shall we? Uh, I'm guessing this is the Reverend's... No, this is, this is Kevin's house, isn't it? Kevin? Ryan's house. Okay. So where, where does Evelyn live? Have I already been past the house? Pretty sure you said that she lives next door. Uh, she does cookies. She takes a order of cookies from us on a regular basis. Yeah, I get it. I say she's lost the plot. Yeah, from the house next door. No, Doug. So Doug lives next to Evelyn. Okay, this is their back door. <laughs> okay, now we've got to find Doug's house. Uh, and then Evelyn's next door, I guess. So, I think it's just like one little square, so... Shouldn't be too hard to find. Oh, my hunger does go down. Okay. Uh, luckily, I stole some chicken from someone. Whose house is this then? This would be, um... I don't know. Let's have a look. Let's have a look what we can find in this strange, strange adventure with, uh, cookie-eating beds. This ain't Evelyn's, is it? Is it? No, okay. I'm guessing Evelyn's house will probably say Evelyn's house on it. That That's my, that's my guessing. Oh, here we go. Nope. Uh... This one? Oh, I think I've already been here, actually. Oh, I'm back at the beginning. Okay. So, I'm back at the beginning. Okay, so let's go... So oh, yeah, there's the there's a fucking balloon as well. Okay, so uh, let's go back around again. And uh, find out what is going on here. Oh, Evelyn Price. Yes, uh, we've actually been here before, but we haven't tried throwing cookies at her bed. Um, let's give it a go. No? You're not hungry? Oh. Oh, I think they just joined up. No, that's eating. Do I put a cookie in there? No. Maybe this isn't her room. Maybe this is someone else's room. There's another room in there. Oh, yeah. There's all vines and stuff. Oh, no. Hmm. General store by Andrew. Okay. Just thinking that the pumpkin in the general store gives me the chills. It gives me an eerie feeling. It's been moved upstairs now, and the strangers go there as part of the ritual. I think we need to smash that pumpkin. Okay, so let's uh, go get a pumpkin as well. It's all coming together. Piece by piece. Here we go. Cole, Hooded Figure, and Mr. Apple by Jessica. There we go. He lives in the pink house. He usually a ca he's usually a calm man, but he gets very annoyed whenever he isn't near his furnace. I think the strangers burned something in his furnace as part of the ritual. I found some coal. Hope it's useful. So that's Mr. Apple and Hooded Figure. One of the strangers came to our house today. I hope they're not getting suspicious of us. Katie said that we should just carry on as normal so we don't raise, raise suspicion. But it's so scary seeing that all tall hooded figure outside our house. Hmm. This is creepy. What's this what's happening in your town? I would probably just um move. You know. <laughs> Get the fuck out of Dodge. Uh so the Reverend's house we're kinda of looking for. Oh, there's that's a big tower. I wanna kinda of, oh here we go. Reverend Morton. Uh he's got a cauldron around here somewhere, hasn't he? Here we go. Uh let's chuck a spider eye in. Oh, shit, what's that on? Um. Noises. Do you, wait a minute, let me just. Music and sounds. There we go. It's a bit louder. Hmm. I played like a weird tune. But where was it? Was it upstairs or was it. I don't even know. Maybe that was just like one piece of the ritual, maybe. So maybe we need to do all of the pieces. I've tried to find cookies on Evelyn's bed, though. It didn't work. 
Maybe we'll try again later. Um, for now, let's uh, go cook something in the... Let's go smash a pumpkin or cook something in the furnace. I don't know. Let's we'll see what we come across first. It's all very strange. So that's the church. Hmm. That's a well that we'll probably have to throw something down at one point. Just guessing. Um, I can't remember whose house that was. That was just like something. Uh, here we go. The general store. Let's head upstairs and break a pumpkin. Here we go. I don't, I don't think I've ever been up here, have I? Oh, it's this one. Yeah, I remember. Uh, let's smash a pumpkin. Here we go. My pumpkin. Oh. Oh. Something's definitely happening. Ooh. Okay. Okay. We'll, we'll make it. We're doing the ritual. It's all coming together. Uh, cake and coffee shop. Can I remember what was the thing that... Uh, Ritual by Katie. D was there anything part of the ritual here? Uh, they just scatter around here. They can enter and the strange music can be heard. Proceed then to different buildings in the village. So this is the first one they go to. If it wants that strangers enter, the strange music can be heard in the clock tower, which hasn't worked in months. Counts down by one. The sevens at each building. Okay. And they gather by the church at the end. So is there something in here I have to do? Or is this just like where the, where all the rituals start off? Uh, I remember this is where I found something. Uh, there's something about this cake as well. Should I break it? Should I just... Oh, yes! Okay. Nailed it! Yes! That was nice. So we gather around the church when we've done everything. Okay, I finally know what I have to do. Uh, I guess if it isn't named, then it's just like a plot house for like a plot. So what have I? What, okay, let's let's figure out what I've done. I've done the Reverend's Cauldron, uh, Mrs. Apple. Which one was this? Uh, Mr. Apple lives in the pink house. That's that one. Uh, using his very calm man. Okay, what do I have to do? What do I, this is on this page. Burn something in the furnace. Okay, let's just like stick maybe some wood in there or something. Well, what a what a what a probably um very comfortable man. Very comfortable. You know, he's, um, oh, there we go, with his, uh, with his pink house. Married man, he is, perfect, perfect straight, perfectly fine, you know. Uh, not, you know, not that he would, wouldn't be fine if he wasn't I'm going to shut up now. I didn't, I said something I didn't mean. Never mind, just painting on the wall, look at this. There we go. There we go. <laughs> this is his back door. Oh, come on, that's not making it any better. Come on, come on, Grumble. Come on. Come on now. Okay, Mr. Apple is done. Blue House by Susan. Uh, the music is terrifying. I hear it come from the Blue House. Uh, and music disc. Oh, I've already done that, haven't I? Entered the music disc in the Blue House. That was that one over there. Was this the one where I entered the music disc? I can't even remember now. It must have been, because... I did that by accident as well. Oh, yeah. That's made a noise. Uh, where's the music disc gone? Oh, how did it get over here? Yeah, okay, we get it. It's done something. Okay, that, that'll be enough, I guess. Uh, I guess I've done it at least once. Um, so, we've done Blue House. We've done all of these. Uh, Ritual and Cake Shop. I guess that's the one you start with. And, of course, Evelyn's House. It takes a lot of... Okay, let's just go to Evelyn's House and uh, stick some cookies on her bed. It didn't work before. I'm pretty sure it didn't work. So, uh, we'll give it another try. Uh, I'm not going to eat them, even though I am hungry. Oh, let's, have a, let's have a nice steak. Keep us warm. Warm in these winter times. Uh, Evelyn Price, here we go. Hmm. So, I think it was this room, because this is like the weird, weird overcrowded room. But, hmm. Okay, have a cookie. Have a, have a cookie. Oh. There we go. Well, that's nice. I like that. It's not eerie at all. That's just it's beautiful. It's quite sweet. Okay, I think that's all of it. Thanks for that. Thanks for that map. That was that was very nice, very peaceful. Okay, let's go around the church, see if anything's changed now. I mean, there's been a lot of pistons going about, so uh, let's have a look. See in here. I think I've been into all of the houses, so nothing's changed. Oh, there's a banging noise. Hmm, is it through here, maybe? The sign is still there. 
be where you're ne hmm, exposed. Can I can I like jump this or something? They say to gather around the church. Nothing nothing's happening around the church. What's going on? Oh okay, so look, the clock tower is at three. We need to get to zero. Uh somehow. Does it just I don't know if it goes down naturally or whether we have to do some more stuff. Oh no, but it's at zero. Something will happen here. Um So I guess we just look around a bit more then. Okay, I haven't been up here before. Uh the tavern. Aha, here we go. Got one called the tavern. Uh there's something there. It's just a ghast here, and there's one down here. Uh distance. Take a nap or why not? Uh okay, that's all of it. So let's read the tavern first. Uh, who's this by? Uh, Amory? I don't know. Thanks to the tavern's large windows, the strangers can be seen walking up to the fireplace and igniting the fire blocks in it. Once it's lit, they move on. Uh, I think the general store sells flint and steel. I'll see if I can get some tomorrow. Okay, did she collect any? Or he collect any? I don't honestly have no idea what that name is. Um, <laughs> it's very strange. Uh, doesn't look like they've actually collected any. Shame. I might be able to go down to the general store and get some. Okay, so it looks like we're going to have to light up, uh, light up something. <laughs> light up, what is it, the fireplace? Did they, did, uh, did they say? I think it was the fireplace. Here we go, let's go down to the tavern and light up the damn fireplace. Uh, where is the tavern, though? We've been to, we've been in it before. They didn't, they didn't have any nice drinks, they're just bottles. Is this it? Uh, no, this is the general store. Okay, let's have a look if they've got some flint and steel. Uh, nope, and nope, and nope, and nope, and... Oh, here we go. Oh, I didn't even notice that. Let's stick on a helmet. Oh, kind of covers my eyes a little bit. Uh, keep the sword. Okay, let's head on down to the tavern. I'm getting so many books and shit. I think I should keep on to them, though. Uh, did I even read? Uh, what was it? The, the most recent one I got. Which one was it? It wasn't fear, was it? High fence di Distance, here we go. Distance, I don't think I even read this. It's been hard for a few of us, watching our own parents distance themselves from us. But I think we have almost worked out what happens each evening. Yeah, okay. Uh, oh, I should probably <laughs> shouldn't have that round around the, uh, the old wool. Because I don't want to cause any accidents. Nope, nope, sir. Okay, let's light up the fireplace and hope it's the last thing that we have to do. So I can't imagine that we have to do anything else. Okay, here we go. Dun, dun, dun. Here we go. That's a nice little tune. Where's the clock tower and what's it at? It's over here. Okay, let's have a look at what's at. Probably shouldn't sprint, but <clears throat> I've got to get to this quickly. It's at two. So there's two more things that we have to do, I think. Okay. Let's have a little look around then. Oh, wait, what the heck was that? There was an explosion somewhere. Huh. Very strange. Very strange indeed. But yes! Here you go, let's go head down to the clock tower. Pronto!